Hey guys, Season Salt here with a tutorial. Today we're going to be covering the MobiZen app. I'm actually utilizing the application now, and this allows me to mirror my device, my Android device, to my desktop. You can see here some of the how fluid it is. I'm controlling this in near real time, about a, maybe a half a second off, if that. Um, I'm playing uh, Heroes of Order and Chaos right now, but you can see it's a pretty solid application. So with that being said, we'll hop back over to my desktop. And I'm going to take you to the website. Uh, the website is called mobizen.com. It'll give you instructions here on how to download the app. Yeah, I already have them here on the uh, Google Play Store, MobiZen for Samsung and MobiZen, the standard one. If you have a Samsung device, you need to download this one here, MobiZen for Samsung. Uh, if you have another, any other Android device, you can download this regular MobiZen application. Both of them pretty much do the same thing. It's going to basically ask you to plug in your email and your password. It's going to open up an application that literally looks exactly like this phone. You'll see it. And uh, once you put in your email and your password, the second you hit connect, it might ask you for a two-step verification. I cannot walk you through that as it gives you a unique code that you'll have to punch in. Um, and then Viola, your screen, is broadcasted right here to your desktop. Um, there's different methods of connecting. Uh, I'm using the Wi-Fi connection as I, I, have, an internet, I have the internet that's uh, fast enough to support it. Uh, for those of you that do not have um, fast internet, there are other connection options that they do allow you to uh, utilize um, if you're ever having difficulty here. I'll go up oh, to YouTube there. Uh, we'll scroll over here and I'm clicking. I have a Samsung Galaxy S6, but if you're ever having an issue with connections, you can go here to your connection method settings in the MobiZen application. You see that there's a USB connection where you can connect it to your computer, which is the fastest uh, quality that you'll get uh, out of it. However, it does drain your battery if you do plug it in, and, and most computers can't hold a charge on a phone, so really not worth it in my opinion. Then there's the Wi-Fi connection that enables you to connect, which is what I'm doing, which is uh, over Wi-Fi. And then there's a 3G slash LTE connection. Please have this disabled. If you do not have an unlimited data plan like I do, keep this off. Um, and it's really not worth it. It's so choppy and laggy. So, uh, yeah, those are the uh, various connection methods. One thing I will say about this is that there is no... Um, there is no... Audio, pardon me, I was trying to find the word, I don't know why I struggled so long. Um, yes, that you will not get audio with this application. So as you see, I have here, just loaded up this application, The Room. And just to give you a quick view of, although you don't get audio, the video quality is probably second to none. Uh, I'm also using my, uh, I'm using my mouse, you can see the control, I'm clicking here. The FPS is relatively stable for the most part. Uh, you can see very uh, decent detail. There's not too much buffering, and this is all over Wi-Fi. So, uh, like I said, uh, aside from not having the audio, I mean, this is beautiful to see. I mean, you could scroll, get better detail as to uh, what's going on here. So, yeah. This is the MobiZen application. You guys let me know what you think of it. And if you guys need any help whatsoever, feel free to leave a comment on, my, uh, on the video here. And I will do my best to respond in a timely fashion. I hope you guys have a lovely evening. And I look forward to seeing you guys again soon.